uh, doing a Facebook Live. I just got back from four different scenes that uh, Tucson Police was investigating. Uh, this is a series of, uh, of, of basically somebody throwing Molotov cocktails at four different businesses. Tucson Police say that uh, these, this wasn't a random thing, that these businesses were targeted. Um, let me show you some of the video that we have here. This is the Marine Center. This is the Marine Center. Uh, the Marines immediately, when they got to work, they saw what was going on and they, they evacuated here, or let's just say they left the building. Um, they're right here, obviously, texting, doing something here. But let me show you a tight shot of exactly what we're talking about. These are the windows that are located at the Marine Recruiting Center here. And someone threw a rock, as we saw a rock on the, on the, uh, on the sidewalk there, so threw a rock first at the window, and then it was followed by a incendiary device, which is like a uh, Molotov cocktail. Um, you have, you have uh, different people from different agencies. Um, this is a gentleman from the FBI. Uh, this is the crime scene specialist from uh, Tucson Police Department. And this, these are the windows that we're talking about right here. Um, they're checking the, uh, the burn marks here as to this was just a very interesting, interesting um, crime scene, actually. So this is the Marines. Now, we were also told that underneath this cone here is part of some evidence that was left behind by the individuals that had uh, thrown these Molotov cocktails at the Marine Center. And let me see. Let me go over here. Um, our first location, uh, this is... The Wells Fargo Bank. This is at um, on East Wilmot. Two banks were hit, Wells Fargo and Chase. And you've got the crime scene unit here. Also, the bomb squad was at this location. And the again, the uh, the windows up here. Um, someone threw the incendiary device at the window here. This is uh, the uh, lead detective for the. He's with the Tucson police and fire arson investigators, and he is uh, the lead on this investigation. Um, here you have some of the bomb techs that are coming out of the Wells Fargo on Wilmont. And uh, it looks like they have some of the uh, evidence possibly with them. And um, it, um, let me see if I can just fast forward here. You've seen the Marines, and then there's a Chase Bank also on Speedway that was, um, one of the targets. Now again, um, police say that this wasn't random. Definitely these four businesses were targeted and they also said that it was very very lucky that no one was inside and there was no injuries. Now they, the person responsible for this is facing some very very serious charges here. Uh, let me show you. Okay here we go. This is the Chase Bank. They had already boarded up their windows. Uh, again, um, somebody threw an incendiary device, a Molotov cocktail. Um, that was the Chase Bank on Speedway. Three of these locations were on Speedway. Um, the bank opened for business. This is the Chase Bank. And then the um, fourth and final location was the Starbucks on Speedway. Um, it is just being built. Um, Somebody, again, did the same thing. Now, we're told that all these four locations are definitely connected. Um, I understand when we left the scene, uh, you know, just, just a bit ago, that um, uh, the arson detectives, along with the FBI, were looking at some of the surveillance cameras that are in the building where the Marines are located. So hopefully they'll be able to find or see something there. Um, so I need to get going because I need to get these stories on for four, five, and six. And so hopefully we'll see you then. Reporting live, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.